The following stream contains mature content and subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. And good evening, everyone. No, it hasn't been 30 days. I'll say it again. <laughs> uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, McStabber Studios, Kansas City, a domain divided. I am, of course, the storyteller for tonight, Shanky McStabber. And I am Mama McStabber, and I am playing Dr. Katarina Ricosi of Clan Zamitsi. And I am Dale Davis. I'm playing Callum McFarlane of Clan Ventrue. And I'm Ree, and I'm playing Rashad Giovanni of the Hakata. I'm House. I play Bo Solomon, Clan Toreador. Hi, I'm Mischievous Red, and I'm playing Gwyn Schultz of the Ministry. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming out to Season 1, Episode 7. Hang on, I think I had to do something. Uh, of the Kansas City stream. Uh, when we were last with this coterie here in Kansas City, well, Gwyn was nowhere to be seen, first of all. Uh, they did get a text from her, though uh, the text wasn't her usual style, which led to some questions. And then this group, not knowing where her haven was, they decided, well, we're going to go pay a visit to this security firm, security firm. And uh, it's not as secure as they probably would have liked because uh, Kat proceeded to beat the shit out of their security guards with their own batons <laughs> as the group easily got inside, got a bit more information, uh, definitely pointing them towards the Jabberjaw Bar, which they went and investigated as well, finding out is a underground, unlicensed bar in a residential section. But it is definitely populated with hunters because the night they were there, there was about two dozen people in there. Some of them with stakes, all of them armed. Not that guns are that big of a deal for, for Kendrick. They also had recovered a hard drive that, well, uh, before we open up this episode, an individual did come by to look at it, said it's going to take quite a while to break because the encryption on it is not uh, Windows, uh, uh, what is it they call that one, the Windows encryption. It is actual real encryption, which makes it much harder to crack. But as we open up, the Coterie has gathered in the logistics headquarters where they normally meet so that they can plan how to get into this bar. And as they're getting ready to make their plans, the door comes open and in steps Gwen, who suddenly has returned 
And I'm going to turn it over to the players because, well, you have a Gwen here again. Where have you been? Apparently at home. I, I, I don't really remember, but that's what the cameras tell me. What do you mean you don't remember? I mean, exactly what I said. I don't remember. Uh, I walked into my haven. I noticed something was off, but I didn't really get a chance to process that something. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in my basement. I Rashad would like to use Scry the Soul on Gwen. You do that. Okay. Uh, this is one. Uh, it has to be opposed because uh, the vampiric nature is not going to let it be unresisted. So, Gwen, you get to roll Composure Subterfuge, and Rashad is going to roll Intelligence Auspects. Composure Subterfuge. I am oh, going wow, to rouse the blood for that one second. Uh, yeah, Gwen's actually, well, I guess Gwen wouldn't know to do that. No, but your beast will naturally fight at some, so you will be yeah. using, you have to roll composure uh, something. Because oh, I, did, I hit the wrong button. Don't mind me. It was a success anyway. Um, Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> wow. Rashad coming in with double crit with nine successes. Okay. I mean, well, good try. Uh, I even tried. willpower in it, you get four. Uh, so, uh, Jesus Christ, actually for a critical win, I'm going to give you something unexpected before you ask your questions. So, for the unexpected part, There's something off at the moment. Uh, her aura is showing an imbalance currently between her and her beast. There's your critical win. Now, uh, you have more than enough margin on this to ask pretty much all the other questions. That was uh, damn good. The whole, whole suite of questions, I yep. guess. <laughs> so uh, what is the emotional state of Gwen right now? Um... Annoyed and probably confused. So her emotional state, annoyed, a little confused, uh, no resonance at the moment. She is a vampire. She is not under the blood sorcery or other magic. But there are black specks in her aura. Interesting. Very but interesting. There's your special thing is, there's something imbalanced there. Do you... Do you still feel your beast? Of course. I mean, I, I've i worked to make sure to feel it and have it keep an eye on things. Um, I will say, when I did wake up, uh, it told me that uh not bow made me angry say that one more time not bow made me angry so the antithesis of me or everyone else except your me. brother your brother maybe <clears throat> and I will say, I know that we all get uh, a little angry or frenzied at times. It was not like that. It was worse. But I did know enough to stay inside. I mean, for someone to get the drop on you is kind of scary. Yeah, I was pissed. Um, and I'm assuming you have a new phone? 
yeah um i i hope that all of you either have new ones or get new ones yeah uh, after we realized that someone was responding and it wasn't you we immediately got yeah. rid of sim cards i mean odds are that they copied my entire phone yeah so we have anything, new numbers and everything anything we need to be <clears throat> concerned about them acquiring i don't keep anything like that on my phone for this exact reason i mean i think that's one of the first things we're all told all in all though you're okay though but you weren't aware why weren't you aware that's what i'm saying it wasn't normal Pretty sure that's why my beast use angry instead because it's just not i'm gonna thing. walk up to her and inspect her for wounds um, it's not enough to have caused a uh an actual uh wound of any kind so she doesn't have I'm a superficial wound because it's very it's very strange to me that she would have this blankness but she does have a tiny pinhole you can see on the back kind of towards the back of her neck lift up your hair hon she does looks like a dart or a syringe uh if big, it was a big, syringe big, it was big, an awful fat needle it was a, it was a big needle yeah big big gauge okay did you get injected with something i don't know sure looks like you did I guess, which also leads to the fact they wiped my cameras. So I know nothing. I figured that probably went without saying, but I don't know. Yeah, she's got a freaking hole in her neck where it looks like they probably shot a dart at her. Or if they got her with a needle, it was a big damn needle. Storyteller, as Rashad is watching her aura, does her, does the imbalance seem to be steady or does it seem... Like a, a fight between two it is things. Not a fight. It seems uh it's not steady either either. It's balancing back out to what you would expect very slowly and ever so subtly. Like uh, sh- uh the nearest you could do it is uh if you look at an aura of somebody who's drunk or on drugs, as they're coming down off the high, uh their aura starts to shift back to normal. Her aura is doing the same between her beast and herself. Got to reward those nine successes. You so know. out of character, like basically at one point it was completely in control and now it's backing off. Okay. But Frenzy, you don't normally see it that way. Okay. <clears throat> Your aura concerns me. You, it looks as if your beast was in control of you at some point, though not in the way that I would have expected. If there's someone with some sort of drug that can do that, that would be concerning. But I also don't know if there are other abilities of your kind that could cause such a thing. And as he says that, you're not using the powers of your blood at the moment, Gwen. But your beast does something it doesn't really do when you're not using the powers of your blood. It speaks again to you. We were one for a while. Apparently, we were one for a bit, whatever that means. When, when did you come to? What time? After day. Or after the beginning of this evening. So it was... 48 hours, roughly? It would have been about 36. 36? Yeah. Yeah. 36 hours? Is there a means of, like, Googling or accessing any sort of, like, police scanner archive to see if there were any (laughs) vicious attacks or crimes or anything? There are lots of... Police bulletins? uh, Police bulletins. There's uh, entire groups on 
social media dedicated to yeah. tracking police calls in any given area. Mind if I kind of just do some scanning for that? Do it. Nothing. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you find stuff, but nothing. Nothing that would seem like. Right. Right. Particularly beast-like. Cat would like to do a visual assessment of Gwen. To like check her pupils, check, you know, basically anything for abnormalities. So I know that's going to be a medicine roll. I'm looking at something before you do. Why are you doing uh, Gwen is very visibly uncomfortable with this just because she's used to like not being looked at. Gwen, that's kind of her thing. Is Gwen's eyes? Uh, they're green. They're green? And Kat's not just going to do it without telling you. She's going to say, No, I know. Gwen, like, but I would like to take a look at you as a medical professional to see if something's abnormal. Okay, I guess. Her would you like would you like some pri pri privacy as you do this? I'm not going to make her strip. No, but even <laughs> still, it's a, some a between a doctor and a patient kind of situation. I don't. It's fine I mean, if y'all it, we we can go to a back room if you would like. Her, when her eye goes. color is slightly off. It is still green, but there's a an odd hue to it, almost reddish in tone. There's a mix. Uh, how can I, the best way to describe it is a dialed down eyes of the beast. Hmm. When have you always had this sort of unique relationship with your beasts or is this I mean, a new development? It's always been there somewhat and I've kind of worked towards it. Uh, it's almost like having a second set of eyes. Um, but it's never been active or passive. Are you presently very hungry? I don't think so. All right. Excuse me for just a moment. And she goes out to her car and grabs her medical bag. Okay. Brings it in. Okay. Yep. Says, I would like to get a sample of your Vitae. <laughs> With your permission. What? Okay, so player question. Um, what all knowledge can you gain from Vite? Uh, you in, know from a player standpoint, uh, or from a character standpoint, you would know that uh, the first golden rule of being a kindred is never give a Tremere any of your blood. Not a Tremere. I know, but that is because of what can be done with blood. <clears throat> and the second rule is never give a Benu Akeem any of your blood Not because of what can be done with it. So, you so it's more it, things can be done with it yes. as opposed to like analysis right. of it. Okay. And, and Kat will say, I am going to an analyze it as best as I can. I'm not going to take it to the hospital. Okay. There's going to be no record of this being done. Basically, what I want to do is I want to put it in a, in a, in a collection vial. And I'm going to let it sit long enough so that if I taste it, I'm not going to get bonded to you. Oh, you don't want that. No, not particularly. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, but I'm going right. to taste it to see if I taste any known to me chemicals. It loses uh, bonding capability within just almost moments. seconds. Yeah, yeah. Out, within, out within, within 60 seconds, it won't bond me. I just need it out of your body. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And so what she does is she basically makes a small incision and says, go ahead and will the blood. And then she puts it in a container. I won't make that a, a rouse it's, check. It's not even a full rouse. Much. Yeah, right. it's not much. Um, normally, she would do this like with blood draw, but there's no need to bar blood draw with a vampire. Um, and then she says, go ahead and, you know, heal your wound. And, and she lets it sit there for a second. And then she's going to wait until basically she knows it's not going to bond her at least 60 seconds. And she'll take a little bit on her pinky and taste it to see if she can taste any chemicals in it. Okay, let's see here. Um, I want you to roll. This is where Cat is actually good. Intelligence medicine. Fighting. Okay. You seemed pretty good at fighting. I am pretty good at fighting, but I'm also really good at figuring out medical shit. So <laughs> yep, intelligence medicine. Okay. Hmm. 
The three is pretty good. I'm going to willpower. Four. Four. Uh, you taste the blood. I mean, it's definitely Vitae. Mm -hmm, it is. Uh, there's, it's got an off taste. Uh, you can't identify it, but it's a chemical of some kind, definitely, because it's given it a. Blood doesn't spoil per se, but a slightly spoiled taste by your mouth. Something is off. Gwen, have you had a conversation with your beast from the time you woke until the time you got here about what happened while you just, weren't aware? Just what I said. Not Bo made us angry. But I can tell you still feel normal. And whatever is affecting your aura seems to be retreating slowly. If you feel anything else, let us know, I suppose. Well, there is a substance in your vitae. I can't place what it is. But It almost makes it taste like it's spoiled. Like it's gone off. Okay, we need to find your brother, Bo. Because fuck this shit. But anyway, we took care of the security office while you were sequestering yourself. Um, there was a bunch of basically hired muscle watching the place. Muscle is kind. It is kind. At the, I'm being <laughs> generous with my assessment of them because literally one went down with one hit and then I picked up his fucking baton and whooped his buddy's asses. And I told his other buddy to kick, kick him while he was down. Ass, mm -hmm. right. And that was brilliant, by the way. Um, but yes, um, they didn't die. They literally were just hired and really didn't know what the fuck they were into. Um, Gorgeous car, though. Yeah, really nice car. That was the photographer that. She just left. She obviously wasn't really involved in too much shit either. Um, but anyway, the guy running the security thing was dealing with someone over him. And he is tied to this bar, this bar run out of the house, the Jabberjaw. But anyway, went to deal with that guy in the security place. He was an asshole, definitely a hunter, but amateur time for sure. Um, Tried to pop off his gun at me, missed every fucking time. I just he tried did. to get him to tell me who was fucking running shit, and he wouldn't. Kept mouthing off, so I ate him. Um, we got his hard drive, and he and so, who is it that's what that's evaluating it now? It was one of uh, Victoria's. It's people. One of Victoria. You never okay. got a name. Okay. Okay. Um, one of Victoria's people obviously has a thing for for that kind of tech because it's like seriously locked down um likely federal encryption um on the hard drive that they had there so we're waiting to get results from that but we did investigate the bar after hitting the security place and it had at least about two dozen people in there all but two of them we're pack. We're packing. Um, we're talking steaks. We're talking probably some shotguns or sawed offs under trench coats. We're talking um, 45s. Other pistols. Um, and two people monitoring the door. What about the two people who weren't? Um, it looked like they were just punks. That heard about a, an underground bar. And we're checking it out. I didn't notice any sort of. Um, and she'll show the video to Gwen. I didn't notice any sort of uh, signs or symbols that one of ours tried to slip in. Not to say 
there were some people trying to, you know, have some fun, test the waters, but all seemed part of this same. Yeah, all but those two seem part of this, like, hunter cell. But um, they don't seem like pros. They seem like low-level, yeah, conspiracy all theorists. Yeah, they don't seem like pros. Now, there was this one really buff chick. Oh, butch as hell. But definitely, she seems to be running the shots at this place. But I don't know how. I, I wasn't. Sh- none of them seem geared out like military or feds or anything like that. It seems like we're just in a position where we have to peel back the proverbial layer one after another, and this is just the next layer. May I take a further look at the video? Absolutely, and she hands the phone that has the video. Uh, so can I roll to see if Gwen notices anything else? Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can uh, give me uh, Wits Awareness. You can give me Wits Investigation. That works as well. Okay. Uh, Rochelle, the one. Specialty. Uh, first, I'll go ahead and surge. Um, specialty of deduction. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that, that definitely seems to fit. You don't say absolutely. That's storyteller's job. That would absolutely <laughs> fit in this case. <laughs> I'm encouraging. Hey, that's seven. That's good. Yeah, hungrier. <laughs> okay, so give me specifics exactly the kinds of things you're you're looking for, because I want to make sure um, it's catered the right way. Yeah, so basically she's looking for any information that would potentially give them next steps as to uh, who's really in charge, um, where, if there are any other like locations that might be kind of suggested somewhere. Uh, basically, if there's anything else in the video that would lead to next steps. One thing based on what you got there. Uh, one thing you catch in the video, you only catch a, a glimpse of it, but you catch a glimpse that the uh, the guy behind the bar, he seems to be making notes onto a piece of paper. It, the bar is in the kitchen of all things, which is weird still, but he seems to make a notes on the paper uh, every time one of the punks or anybody comes over to get a drink. So it's clear they keep tabs on the activities of people. Which Um, would mean there's a, uh, based on, let's reward your successes there. uh, If Curtis Vance has been in there, odds are they've got notes on him. Which, remember he'd mentioned a bar. And if the uh, Vincent Jensen, who is supposedly the one who hired Nightwatch, there's a good chance also they've got notes on him too. Uh, she'll point that out to the group. It looks like we might need to go back for that. Yeah, absolutely. So now guys, I know y'all think that bar. I'm just going to, you know, go, go in swinging. No, I know how to be no, quiet. No, no. I know how to be just intimidating. I think I think my bigger concern was is it is it appropriate that we all go in at the same time? Maybe we come in like use our various traits and gifts to go and come in separately, or is it best that just a couple of us go initially? I I just want to make sure we are being smart about how we make our entrance in, whether it's a couple of us or all of us. But no, Katarina, I have no concerns that you can control your temperament. That is not a concern of mine. I do feel like a couple of us might want to wait outside just in case. I think it might also be beneficial to observe the place for a bit, figure out when it's least busy. Um, I don't know about you all, but I don't particularly want to break into a room full of people who want to kill us. Oh, no, we'll go through the front door. 
Because obviously we'll outsiders can get in. Not, I, I wonder if they aren't so much outsiders as recruits who are being brought in. Not fully in yet, but in that process. I really got the feeling that nobody was, because uh, I, I, I watched longer than I snap video for. And what I saw with the behavior was that nobody was engaging with them at all. At all. Other than the guy at the bar giving them drinks. I, mean, I guess maybe the one way to tell is to walk up to the, the guy and see if they'll just let anyone in. Right. I don't oh, know Gwen, if that'll work. Gwen, I, I ask this only because it seems like you've been through something. Um, have you used your resources to see if anybody placed any surveillance tracking hardware on you? I mean, yes. I'm assuming confidence with the shanky. Well, yes, okay. because yeah, you uh, your <laughs> clothes were, yeah, yeah. were shredded from your rampage, so you had to put on brand new clothes. Right. And you got to inspect yourself. Yeah, you, know? you got to inspect yourself. <laughs> And Kat yeah. did a pretty thorough assessment of you. So, <laughs> And even trackers even nowadays wouldn't be small enough to fit in the size hole you had in your neck. No. No, that was definitely an injection hole. Um, Still feel like we're missing something. Mm -hmm. Well, we won't know until we get there. Um, I plan on going in. Being at least someone going through the front door. I think Gwen should go with you. All right. I'll volunteer to wait outside. If Rashad, what would you like to do? Wait outside or go in with those two? I'll stay outside. Okay. Is there any nice skills that isn't very good inside? Depending on the literal or figurative strength of those inside I'll, i can I mean, go we, in with you two if you well, want i mean we might cause a stir so there might be an opportunity for someone to slip through the back door if we draw attention it unintentionally draw attention towards ourselves and i can tell you you can get to the back really easy going along the back edge of the houses next door at the very least you might take away even if it's not everyone you might take away some people from there and i trust whoever going through the back might be able to handle them accordingly mm -hmm. i mean worst case scenario if we also wanted to you could uh make a mess outside uh, and have at least some people have to go and clean it up It'll pull some outside, and you can do whatever the fuck you want with them. I don't care. Uh, True. We have options. So, I mean, it's nice to have options. We can, outside crew can play it by ear if need be. I also know if anyone unique shows up. I don't. So our I say, Rashad, I don't think your vision. While I think very much relays to inside the bar, I think the whole scenario is us going into the wolves' den. Um, what vision? Oh yes, um, Rashad, I'll let you describe. We are currently the rabbits in the field being hunted by a group of wolves. They were closing in on us. Even after we had dealt with the security, which makes me currently believe that we are quite literally entering a den of wolves. And I don't know if our enemy is the people inside or if they are the bait to draw us in. I mean, okay, the fact is every single one of them in that building is a motherfucking heavy. Okay, that's the simple fact. Gwen, 
do you confirm? Based on the video you saw. Yeah. Every single one of them is a motherfucking heavy. Do you want your muscle inside or outside? Tell me where you want me and I will be inside. Inside? Okay. You also probably. No offense, Kat, but you're pretty strong. You're you're a fighter. You know this. You probably fit in with the crowd a little bit. Absolutely. And if someone wants to test me, I'll deck them. I know what it's like to get jumped in. <laughs> if the three of you encounter a problem, do you want me and Mr. McFarland to focus on rescuing you or ensuring that the right people are made aware of the threat? I would like to not die. Uh, that's why you get the fuck out and let me handle it. I mean, do you not want people to come help? I would recommend the focus is get the fuck out. And I'll catch up. A fighting withdrawal. (laughs) Yes, a fighting withdrawal. Now, that is just my opinion. If you disagree, definitely put out the plan. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying I'm not the tactician here. I know my style. I know what I do. That's what I can offer. I can offer to get their fucking attention while y'all get out. I think that is plan A. Mm hmm. We adjust if their opportunities change or present themselves otherwise. Absolutely. Because even if you alert the appropriate people, how quickly are they going to get there? Are they going to get there? Are they going to come in force to take out a cell of hunters? At the end of the day, we just have to trust each other. Right. Is there a reason why we haven't told them? Oh, they know. Okay. Victoria knows. She was aware of the bar. She knew about it. She's she the one knows who told about us it already. She told us very bluntly it was a hunter bar. Okay. All right. Second question. If it appears that one of you or all of you are going to be captured and we cannot save you, would you prefer to be captured with the intent to be saved later? Or would you prefer... Yes, because that's a good death? source of intelligence. Do you two agree? Agreed. Don't let me get captured. (laughs) (laughs) Like I said, let me cause the distraction and you run. (laughs) Yeah, admittedly, my priority, if if things go sideways, is get Gwen out, Mm -hmm. then myself, and then Kat, I trust you. I will catch up. Yes. I will catch up. If I survive it, I will catch up. When? When you survive it. Yeah. Uh, I will also say... um, not necessarily the person messing with us will be there. No. However, there is the chance they will be there or the chance they have at least circulated what we look like. I have a means of taking care of that, but you all might want to. I, I know can that make you can do it. everyone look different. I feel that's quite painful, so I think I will use my method for me. Oh, it can be quite <laughs> painful. That's why I usually do it to patients under anesthesia. I think it's a fool's errand for me to try and pretend that I don't know my brother is fucking with us. Hell, you might be the best way to draw anyone out. Yeah. Exactly. I will keep my current appearance. But I do thank you for the offer. Of course. I'm always willing to do it if you need to change face for a brief time. I will as well. I'll change later if necessary if they know who we are fuck it Mm. fuck it i didn't mean it more for the people inside i get it if they know who we are then fuck it somebody either in there or in charge of them is trying to blackmail me fuck it um yeah I think uh, can't say it much better than that. 
All right. <clears throat> Let's take care of things. I, Gwen, first, just want to say I'm I'm glad you're back. Well, yeah. I don't think that was actually expressed. We are glad you are back and relatively safe. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Really, I am. I'm now, more upset with the how. I get you. Mm-hmm. It's a violation. And we, will, and, we, and we will make him pay. <laughs> I would say, yeah, let's go back into some danger. Yeah, Let, we will make him pay. Before we leave, Gwen, can I speak with you privately for a moment? Sure. And we'll all go out to the car. He will guide her towards a, a back room just to make sure they are not overheard. Were there black streaks in your aura before this happened, or are they new? I can't see my aura, so I do not know. Are you aware of what those mean? Is it, like, known generally what they mean? Uh, Actually, I not, don't care. Probably not, no. unless you are one who reads auras. So you do not know? No. Like, I according, to know. A, according to a cousin, it means that you consumed another of our kind, more than the blood. There are some debates over what exactly you consume. Some argue it's a soul. Some argue it's more than that or less. I don't know. But if you did not do this before this happened, then we may have another problem. If you did, I did it, it before. Anything else? Be careful. There are people far better at this than I am. I don't care what you do, but I won't lie to are better if they find out. I mean, I don't, I can't really control who can see my aura, but, well, no secrets. They have a funny way of coming out anyway. This conversation would have gone on a lot longer if I hadn't just said it. Well, Ultimately, it's up to you. My job is to keep secrets, so it doesn't matter. Keep yourself safe and try not to continue doing it. Of course not. It's a one-time thing of self-preservation. Let's go. Is your plan to take one vehicle or two vehicles? Two. Okay. Two. Have to ask that. So Kat will be riding with Bo and Gwen. Okay. That way you have them separated out. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, please, everyone, give me your wits awareness. Because you know you're going for a ride. And actually, in this case, it's kind of important because of where you're going. You might want to be aware of what's going on around you. The surge. I will take half. Okay. So I'll take two. Okay. Now you can do that. Mm-hmm. Would ambush specialty apply? Uh, if you wish to use it, I will make sure that as you're doing your wits awareness, you're uh, specifically watching for ambushes. Because yeah. I am not the wits awareness person in this group. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Gwen. I will just take half. <laughs> Gwen's looking at eight with a crit. Rashad's at four, five, six. Nice for Rashad. Let's see. Bo has five. That's good. Roll up Callum two, which, you know, wits awareness isn't your specialty, so that works. Okay, so thinking of the various cars. So you've got six in a uh, six in one car, which is a nice number, and then an eight crit in the other car. So uh, that's good to know. Okay, so you all are riding over there, and when you get there, it seems tonight the parking's a little bit tighter. You have to park 
you can't pull up in the driveway. You have to pull down the street a little bit for Cat, Gwen, and Bo. Uh, for Callum and Rashad, I assume you're not going to park right there in front. Confidence right. and all. You're down the street a bit so you can watch the place. Uh, close enough that, you know, if you see anybody running out or any gunshots go off, you can uh, respond, but not so close that it's obvious that you're there. And uh, opposite end of the street from where they parked. Perfect. I will say as they're approaching, um, when we'll do mask of a thousand faces. Okay. Now for mask, uh, you're just a generic woman at this point then. Yep. So as you're approaching, you all get out. Uh, the two guards are definitely on Gwen. Uh, not only are they both armed, those two guys do seem uh, they're able to fight definitely by the way they're standing. They've got an odd uh, posture of they don't appear to be paying attention. They don't appear to be, you know, they appear to be just kind of lounging against the building, against the doors to it. But you can tell by the way they're they're standing and the way their eyes flick, they are definitely a lot more alert than they appear. Who's taking the lead on this? Can I walk up and use um, the clan merit all access? Uh, you can. I believe Mr. Personality here is going to take lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kat uh, <laughs> just basically gets in like guard position. Let's see here. <laughs> when you're faced with a barrier to entry, a mortal event or facility, you can get past the guards by uh, being on the guest list or having connection to whatever passes for owners or patrons. Um, so in this case, uh, <laughs> let's see, if you were planning to use that to get in. Vinny sent me? Uh, yeah, you can. You're going to use the name Vinny, who was Vincent. Vinny sent me. Yeah. Yeah. We're friends of Vincent's or we're friends of Vinny's. Because the guards, I, they, I, just, I, they I, look at you up and down. Uh, private. It's a I'd, private I'd, I'd, uh, I kind of give him a little wink. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I've got business inside. Me and my associates. Please let us in. Vinny sent us. Uh, your friends. Are... Vinny's, huh? That's fine. I don't like repeating myself. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. He's not in tonight, by the way, so you know. I, he, he sent us. Yes, I'm aware he's not here. Yeah, go on in. Uh, you know, let me find. I need to get you a name here. Uh, I know I wrote it down. Uh, Jenny. Jenny's inside, though, if you need to talk to her. Uh, I think tonight she's got a blonde on her arm. You you won't miss her. Just cool. look for the who one I with the smokes to... rolled up in the sleeve, like, like always. Jenny, great. Who I talk to really isn't any of your fucking business. Hey, no, thank hey you. I was just letting you know she's in, man. Come on. Go on in. Thank you. And I give him a wink. Walk inside. When you go inside, uh, tonight, there's a little bit less than last night. Uh, there's about 16 people you can see here, uh, not counting the two bartenders that are standing in the kitchen, uh, making drinks and serving them once again in red solo cups. They're very strange, but it is what it is, right? Stay classy, people. Uh, <laughs> the blonde you saw uh, last time you were here, uh, that you assume now is Jenny. She's sitting at a table with about six people and she's got a blonde on her arm that she's kind of leaning into or real close. And you notice immediately that uh, everyone at the table's eyes are on Jenny. And uh, when she laughs, they all laugh. Uh, some of it seems slightly forced. It's clear she's got uh, the juice in this place. Other than that, people seem to be sitting around 
well, they're not even real bar tables. Some are sitting on the on a couch. Got one guy sitting at a damn recliner that's not reclined, but he's got a little end table beside him. This is a house that they've turned into a bar. Some people are just standing around because there's not enough seats. But everyone in there tonight is wearing, once again, that skull motif with a dagger through its teeth, either as a pin. Uh, you notice that Jenny's uh, got a jacket that has that prominently on the, uh, right here on the shoulder mark. It's not even a pin. It's a straight patch that's been sewn on. And they're all armed. And as you come in, the eyes, everyone's eyes cut to you. Then they kind of cut away. But Gwen, you notice as much as Jenny seems to be distracted, she is keeping an eye on the three of you uh, very circumspectly, but keeping an eye on you all. And that's because you have eight successes. Uh, she's good, but you catch it. With a crit. Yep. And the bartenders, yeah, you can see Gwen. As you're coming in, they one of them hands dip below the kitchen counter in there or the uh the kitchen island as if he's writing something down. So I, I, can you re describe this? Is is there like a seat at the bar that we can take? There's no seats at the kitchen island. Uh there's no available seats right now. A couple of people lean in against the wall, but you can always go over to the bar to get something or go to the kitchen island to get something from the bartenders. Uh, the music is playing tonight. Uh, it's some angry ass death metal tonight. Uh, I will activate my heightened senses for taste. Okay. And go up. What are you pouring? I mean, what you want, this ain't no fancy place, just so you know. Uh, if you got past the doorman, you probably already know that. I mean, I can get you Jack and Coke. We got some tequila back here. You My don't look like a Jack. draft type. I don't think you want one of these damn IPAs. Why, why run good, uh, good whiskey with soda? Just some Jack, please. And he grabs a damn red Solo cup. Want it on the rock, so you want it neat. Dealer's choice. He bends down, puts a couple ice cubes in it, pours a generous shot of Jack, slides it over to you. You're new here, right? Yeah, yeah. Have uh, have a little business. Um, and I, after I, as I say that, I shoot back the drink. How about a second? I like how you handle your your drinks. I like that. And he gets another one, pours it in there. And we don't get a lot of new faces. I tell you though, your friend back there, and his the way his his head moved, it's kind of towards Katarina. She definitely looks like as she could be handy around here. Are you, you looking? You looking to sign up? Sorry, on the clock tonight, I'm expensive. Yeah, this is definitely not a, a relationship of friends. It's definitely a business relationship. And I mean that very kindly. I turn uh, Of course you do, boss. Gwen's going to kind of pop up to the bar. Uh, <laughs> and off an obvious contrast to the other two. Um... What you got there? Putting out like the notes. I'm just writing down ideas. I'm always writing things, you know. Ooh, ideas for what? Uh, more drinks to mix. Ah. Have you, know, you been? I have other jobs. I, I, this place don't pay bills. So I have to like do real jobs sometimes. This is more of a fun hobby, you might say. What was your name, by the way? I don't worry about names. Uh, we'll worry about names if you uh, stick around a while. Well, should I just call you bartender then? 
Yeah, go with that. I'm kind of new at this kind of thing. Uh, I, I just, I'm only 21. Uh, could you maybe share some of what you're writing? Uh, then I'll use my lore sheet. Oh, you're going to invoke the lore sheet. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let me pull this up because I always like to have it up. I might, if, if Katarina is covering, like is directly behind us. I mean, might, I'm like, I'm like behind and to, to the side just slightly. I'm in guard position. So you're I, I, was, roll, I might gesture at you to turn around. So she's looking at the others. It only works for vampires. Really? Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, no, uh, one true secret. No, that's a different one. Okay. That's a different it's one. Trust me. Yeah. It yep. only works for vampires. You got to use like R or something. So you're going to have to just, you can go straight manipulation persuasion. And, and Kat will. Or charisma persuasion. Kat, Kat's going to be having her head on a swivel. Okay. You can go charisma persuasion. Okay. Um, we'll surge. I've been surging so much tonight. Um. The lore sheet in Zoom chat, Rashad, but the lore sheet has found its weakness. Yes, it has. It really <laughs> has. Five. No, nice. That's nice. That's more than he had dice. I know. That's why. I, that's why I didn't willpower. I was like, nah, not worth it. <laughs> he goes and pulls some paper out, and it's got a list of drinks, but you. Conveniently notice he did not actually pull the one he was writing on at the time. He pulled another sheet that was under that one. And about I mean, you're young enough. You you're looking. Uh, he's his drinks. Some of them sound pretty fucking horrendous. <laughs> what about your newest ideas? Those aren't ready yet. You know, when they're ready, I'm, I'm sure if you're you're coming around here enough and you end up joining up, I'll, I'll share some of the others with you. Join up what exactly? If you're in here, good chance you know. <laughs> Trying to clean up the streets. I heard some things about it. Yeah. Then you understand why we kind of a little cagey. I mean, I'm I'm glad to be here, but um, I think we have a mute, mutual acquaintance. Uh, yeah, and Cat looks behind to see if the chick is still like at a table full of fucking people. She is, but now she's taking an obvious interest mm. in you all. I think she you can know. make time now, boss. <laughs> Are you here to see Jenny? Yeah. Good luck with that one. Um, can I... I want to use my clan merit um, on the bartender. Hopefully, as a way to figure out what is the best way to approach getting information from this guy. Mm. Let's see. It lets you discover something superficial uh, he might want. Desire or ambition. Yep. Hmm. Who is desire or ambition? The way he said he was wanting to clean up the street. Uh, he has an actual vested interest, apparently, in cleaning things up. There's an edge to his voice that tells you this is not a, uh, a fleeting thing for him. He really does 
have a, well, if your guess, issue with Kendrick. I'm sure a lot of people here have a variety of reasons to be here. What's yours? We're here, obviously, to talk to Jenny. Do you just like making drinks? All right, like I said, this is doesn't pay bills. I do this because I like it. You know? Same story everybody says. Grew up, misspent youth. Saw some things. Some things I couldn't explain. Some things I didn't... Some things I didn't think were right. I always felt like there was a hand on the scales, you might put it. Then chance encounter made me realize there is a hand on the scales and that hand is not one of us damn bloodsuckers out there and when he says bloodsuckers the guy next to him because there's two bartenders the other one just seems to be ignoring everybody Almost like he's not actually a bartender. He just kind of elbows him slightly. Shut up. Don't don't give me that. They know why they came here. I was going to say, I couldn't say it better myself. A few years ago, my mom disappeared. Hindsight, I think it may have been one of them. world would be a better price if we can get rid of them. You're in good company here. You know. May not look like much, but. I've always learned you never judge a painting by the paint. Just like you don't draw, judge the drink by the cup it comes in, right? He pours you another shot of Jack. Uh, can't can't so Gwen can't read the list, but like as someone standing in Gwen's position, would they have been able to see it enough to tell it was names? It's not names. Okay, uh the amount mind. of writing, it may be descriptions. I I guess what I'd really like to see or to know is if there's a group or people who stand a chance. I mean, I, I've, from what I've heard, it seems pretty difficult. And I don't know how many there are. I imagine it would take a lot of people, things. I just, I don't know if that can or will happen. Look, it's not like the movies. They're not invincible. No, we've, we've gotten two already. Oh, yeah? It's a matter of numbers. Impressive. You catch them by themselves. You catch them, catch them while they sleep. Mm. You'd be amazed what you can do. I see. That's the thing they always forget. They may rule the light, the night, but when the Were sun comes spot? out, they're ours. Oh, gets a little gleam in his eye. Were you one of the ones that got him, or was it someone else here? No, nah, it wasn't me. Josephine's got one personal she did. So what's... Or sorry, not Josephine, sorry, uh, Jenny. Mm. Jenny's got so one she did herself. You're not a fighter? No, 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 no. I'm uh, more the information guy, you see. Bartender. Oh. My day job. Well, night job, but when I'm not here. 
She said so things, you, watch for things, you notice things. Is that what you were writing? Maybe. Got to keep an eye on new people coming in, you understand? Yeah, no, I can imagine. You never know. Right, you never know when you're dealing with a bloodsucker. So, Tender, can I just get an ice water? You know, I'm on the clock tonight, so I can't be drinking, but. Yeah, I get you an ice water. He turns to get it, and as he turns to get it, you notice Jenny has gotten up. And she tussled the girl's hair that was sitting beside her. Mm -hmm. As she gets up out of her seat, she's heading towards the bar. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to flash real quick as this happening to Rashad and Callum. Uh, you're sitting outside uh, down the street a bit when a you hear it coming before you see it. Charger Hellcat coming down the street. Uh, they're going to pass you on the way to the bar. I Rashad would like to try to to drive by uh, Scry the Soul as they're going by. Okay. Assuming I can see through like the tent of the vehicle. I don't know. How uh, that's going to be tough. The windshield, maybe you can get a glimpse. I'll let you roll for it. It's not going to be okay. easy. Callum will just duck down and, and, you know, kneel next to the vehicle to hopefully avoid being seen as it passes, just so. Okay. It only looks like there's one of us there. Great. Nice pool one second. And just to be aware, I do still have five in strength. So oh, yeah. the leather it's there jacket until you I have it. is like real tight around the muscles and shit. Yep. <laughs> I look like a fucking brick shit house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got six after willpower, but not a crit. Uh, you don't have long to look at the, the aura. Uh, I will give you, it is definitely human. Am I able to get emotion, specifically anger or something of that nature? Horny. All right. You will attempt to not be noticed, not hiding, but to be, to appear unimportant. And as you see the Hellcat go by, it slows in front of the bar. There's no parking right there. And so you could, the car stops for a bit as the driver's trying to figure out where the hell they want to park it. Uh, so you're aware, Hellcats are stolen quite a bit, and a lot of people don't like to leave them right on the street. Fun fact, they're in the top 10 stolen cars right now. So uh, the car kind of loops around a bit, comes back down the street. And you see it parked. I mean, it's not close to you, but it's closer to you than the house is. From what I can tell, they are human. Not serious. They seem to be more interested in uh, carnal needs than anything useful. Mm -hmm. Do you want to intercept them or let them go in? I feel like we should let them go in, get a good look at them, and then maybe go check out the car. What? And move a little closer so we can. Uh, be a little closer to react if something goes down. And when the also Rashad, I was thinking maybe it would be a good idea. For you to baseline all of us as far as our auras go, so that if there are changes in the future, you at least have that to refer back to. All right, I can do that. I will ask the other with two. consent, of course. That's what I was thinking. Let's see if we can get closer to this gentle 
Gentleman, I assume. No, it's a woman. Woman gets out of the car. Kind of short. Her build matches. Well, her build actually matches uh, Natalia's assaulter in the park. But she gets out of the car, looks up and down the street a minute, turns, and just slowly starts uh, walking towards it. Towards the uh, bar, leaving her car. She locks it, obviously, because you can see when the alarm gets turned on. But she's walking towards the bar. She doesn't seem to have noticed your vehicle at all because she just glanced right past it. That might be the person who attacked your associate. All right. Another reason to keep a closer eye on her. Um, am I able to see the license plate from here? Uh, do you have heightened senses? Or are you going to wait until no, she I walks off enough to pull closer? Yeah, wait till, until she's, she's gone. As she gets down the street a bit, you pull a little closer to it. Uh, they are registered tags. Now, here's something that strikes you as odd right away, though. Uh, the sticker on it shows uh, the car was just measured or just got its tags last month. Now, for that year of a car, uh, it's brand new, obviously. Temporary tags would have just left a month ago. I doubt a person capable of buying this vehicle new would be the type that would be involved in this kind of a situation. We could um, make up a reason to be curious about it. If you want to join me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and see if you can take a look inside the vehicle. Okay. See if you can find any proof it's stolen. Uh, looking at the uh, vehicle itself, first of all, the windows are tinted all around, so it's hard to see in it from the sides. But you can look right through the front. Because the windshield is not tinted that much because you can't tint the windshields like that unless you really want to be pulled over. The only thing you can see inside of it looking through the front an antenna is sticking up out of the cup holder. An antenna for a, or a handheld walkie-talkie type device. You can't tell what type because you can only see the antenna, but it is sticking up obvious. This is going based on, I'm using your earlier roles, by the way, for your uh, perceptions. I don't assume you have any experience getting into vehicles. I do not. Um, but I would like to catch a low light picture of that antenna and whatever it's attached to. And I'll By going text low light that to mode, Gwen. Uh, you can text definitely that to Gwen. see that it is a CB of some kind, a handheld one. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly. Kind of reminds you of police handhelds. Maybe why she left it in the car. I'll mention this to Rashad. And then might be keeping track on our behavior through the police. I am going to take a picture of license plates. Good idea. It's definitely brand new. Tires don't even have a lot of wear on them. And given the way she was peeling out, she hasn't had it long enough to wear the tires off it yet. I don't think we're going to get more from the car without interacting with it and be a bit dangerous to distract them while they're inside. Though I do wonder if we can find a database for the for the the license plates. Maybe we can find out who owns it. 
I think uh, I was thinking the same thing, Kat. I could, uh, it'd be a shame if, you know, this new car, if one of the tires went flat. Well, bad things happen to bad people. Uh, and Rashad is going to put out his trench knife. Okay. Mm. Um, so I, d I don't know if I know how to do this, but he would cut it so that way the tire would slowly lose air and not like, you know, a big gash that would make all the air all at once. All you have to do is, you know, stick the tip in the sidewall, not the whole blade all the way in. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is, that is what he will do. So uh, you start to hear it just. With any luck, we can get her by herself as she looks for a way to deal with this. Oh, she's definitely going to have to take the time to change it before she heads out. Right. Out of character, those, tar those cars don't come with a spare. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little spare. <laughs> Let's see who she calls. So as you all are doing that, we're flashing back inside the bar. Looking at time. Eh, we'll still go a little further before we hit break. And Jenny has is coming over and she eyeballs up and down uh Kat and Gwen. And be it careful. is not in a just a sizing up way. It's a lewd way. I was saying be be careful, you might make her jealous as I gesture to the blonde. Uh she knows where her bread is buttered. It's all right. <laughs> You're new here. I'm not used to seeing you around here. We were told you were the person to talk to if we were interested. And that's what they say. Ain't that right, everybody? And you hear around the room, whatever you say, Jenny. Yeah, see? Is this call and response just because they're sycophants, or is it something seem off about this? It seems like they're used to agreeing with whatever she says. Okay. okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm the head bitch, they call me. Ah. I will say, uh, during this encounter, uh, Gwen is very much acting the opposite of Kat and playing more the shy, like, innocent route. That way, she... She has options between who she might like. The counterbalance. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and and Kat isn't, like, mouthing off or anything. She's just kind of like, oh, you know. Mm. Kind of assessing everything she's saying and doing to see if she's really as hot, much hot shit as she thinks she is. We don't get a lot of new people. How'd you find out about the place? I knew Vinny. He hasn't been by in a few days. Yeah, I haven't heard from him either. But he's a straight shooter. Mm. Pretty good guy. Yeah, well, if I may be blunt, he's not here. A little oafish, but yeah. You know? Yeah, but he's really dedicated, and that's what we like to see. Of course, of course. It's all about your dedication to the cause. I hear you got a trophy yourself. I do. You were responsible for both? No, 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 no. And she reaches into her T-shirt and pulls out. It's a string, and there's a set of teeth on it. <laughs> nice. My trophy. Nice. Wow. And like, I and like uh, Gwen, just like, I'm surprised someone like you would even come talk to us. Uh, give so me. Uh, you can give me uh, intelligence medicine. Uh, you can give me. Mm, Witch or Intelligence Occult, you can give me that too. Um, yeah, one of those will work. You got your trophy. Uh, you come away with any battle scars? You know, None I'm going to show to you. I might show it to one of your two friends here if they're... Ask me all sweet-like. I can't say I'm all that sweet. Oh, 
It's a messy crit. <laughs> the messy crit. And I got six. Give me a willpower roll there, Gwen. Yeah. Uh, what button is that? The... Just hit willpower on your the uh, uh, or hit frenzy on the bottom of your sheet. That works. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, I will say my beast does give me extra information. Yep. Uh, for both of you. They're not human teeth for sure. They're kindred teeth, but something's off about them. Gwen, since your beast is giving you extra information, your beast whispers in your head. Thin blood. <laughs> not real vampire. Now, unfortunately for you, because of your messy crit, uh, there's a flash in your eyes when you say it. Cat, you catch it. Bo catches it. You don't know if Jenny caught it. Okay, well, if shit's about to go down, Cat's in the position closest to Jenny, so it's fine. <laughs> but she's tucking the necklace back in. Hmm. So Vinny sends you here to sign up? I mean, I think... It's important to test the waters, see if this is a group that, well, now I've learned can clearly hold their muster, but still, I think trust is certainly important before putting our name on something. I mean, when you go fighting monsters, you got to know that the ones at your back aren't going to turn on you. Oh, that's not how we operate. We take care of each other. I mean, I can see you, you look like somebody can handle yourself. Other two friends here don't seem as much fighters, but then again, not everyone needs to be a fighter. Exactly. We need information, too. It's hard to pick damn bloodsuckers out. As I told the bartender, not wise to judge a painting by the paint. We'll do this. She looks over at the bartender. Curtis, give me a tequila. He gives her, a, he pours her a double shot of tequila into the glass. She takes it and downs it. Let's do this way. First, I want to know what you know. How'd you find out about him? One of them killed somebody I loved. I feel like that's a story a lot of us may have. I don't know for sure, but digging into research seemed like a possibility. Yeah, uh, you'll find that's common for a lot of us around here. Bloodsuckers got somebody we cared about kind of thing. You know? And not everybody. Some of us just Curtis over there. He just noticed things. He's one of them, not a fighter. Are you, man? And he goes, nah, I'm not, Jenny. But he's real good at reading people and picking up info. What's your reason? If you don't mind. Yeah, one got my girlfriend. I don't know how I made it out. But I did. Caught him in the act. Got away. You know, first you think, yeah, it's not real. Not what I really saw. When you really think about it, you realize, no, I saw what I saw. And then you open your eyes and you start seeing a lot of other things. How about you? What'd you lose? My mother. Tough, isn't it? Yeah, but I didn't see it, thankfully. I, 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 you said you don't know why you got out, but I think that just kind of shows that you're good at it. And I'm that good. you're meant to help people. 
I'm not, come on now. We're not all like that. We're not trying to help people. We're just trying to right some wrongs. We'll put it that way. That's the best way to look at it. We want to right the wrongs. That's helping in a way, I think anyway. Yeah. So what are you doing to the ones that you don't fight? We fight them if we find them. Watch them a while, find out where they are, where they move, where they sleep. With all due respect, you even yourselves alluded to being a little more small time. I have to imagine you have some help if you're able to find them. Yeah. Because that's hard. I mean, we get tips, we get information. We've got friends. You'd be amazed at the digital trail that gets left. We've got a friend that looks into that. Are there more of you? Are there like other groups? Ah, can't really go into that, you know? Uh, oh, sorry. Competition, right? No, it's, uh, <laughs> what was the word that, that was you? OPSEC. OPSEC. Yeah. If you don't know of others, you can't squeal them out when one of the blood suckers gets you. Because they can do this thing with their eyes and they make you talk. Yeah. Yeah. So it's easier just not to. That's wild. Yeah, it's not. They can make you talk? Yeah, they can. So it's, it's. At least that's what we've heard. I mean, we tried the garlic thing. That didn't work. Um, we tried the holy water. Nope, that was a bust too. Um, Crosses. You notice we're not wearing nose pins. What's with the skull? I've noticed. I was just going to ask. Tell me about. This looks cool. Come on. Look at it. It's a skull with a dagger in its mouth. (laughs) Shit. It does look pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. There's no there's no meaning. It's just you just like the look of it. Yeah. It's just, you know, we were looking for something. Cat takes a sip of her water. I don't know. Kind of dashing like pirates, isn't it? We can wanted to have bull- a symbol a that check? people can see. Yeah, go ahead. Roll uh uh Yeah, bullshit check on this one. Uh you could do uh I don't know, wits uh insight. That's okay. a good one. Did it not? You didn't roll it on the chat, I don't think. I thought I'd hmm. try it again. There we go. Uh, three. You gonna go with that? Yeah. Uh, she seems to to mean what she said based on the swagger, the cigarettes rolled up in her sleeve. Uh, there is a certain aspect to her about appearances. Mm-hmm. You didn't ask me how I got involved. From the look of you. I'd say, mm, sniffed into their finances, maybe? If only. One of those fucking scumbags. I know it was them. Attacked a friend, friend's sister. She was out with some friends. Got pulled aside by some some person. And he, as far as I know, he's still out there. That's Curtis, right? How do I know that name? Not, not, and the bartender goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, not you. Name. What do he look like? I'd describe him. That son of a bitch. The fuck? What? Wait a minute. You know him? That motherfucker wiped my memory. What? How do you know? What? Oh, shit. That was all. Uh, Gene was here. He brought his daughter, and I kept telling him, 
she's underage, even though we're not a real place, don't do that shit. And then she came without him. And that bastard, Gene, he was, he was here that night. And he attacked her in a fucking bar. Why couldn't I remember? He fucking fucked up my memory, that son of a bitch. I'm, I'm. Do you have like any cameras or something to try and figure it out? Or was anyone else here? No, we don't have care. I mean, Curtis was here that night. Curtis goes, I, I mean, I remember you mentioning her and or mentioning him. And I remember her. I, he's just one of his faces face easy to forget. And she goes, we don't keep cameras. Come on. You don't film crimes, talking to crimes, planning yeah. crimes. Y'all are smart. Well, that's fair. But y'all are smart. I figured you might be able to encrypt it or whatever to hide it. But. Jesus. What are you going to do? What happened to. You said he was here? Yeah, he used to come in here from time to time. And then Gene. I came. start looking like a little panicked, like. Yeah, he, you should look real uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. If he ever comes in here again, we're going to. I'm not worried about again. him. I, I, I start kind of. Yeah. What if there's other blood like, suckers in here? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I Curtis, I need you to go under. through I need we, you to go through that whole list. Tell me anybody in your list that you're having issues uh remembering their faces based off your description. I want to see if anyone else has had their fucking shit fucked with. And Gwen, you see him look down and start flipping through a notebook. And that's your chance to look at the notebook. <laughs> I know he fuck. So after that night, we haven't seen that guy since, but I know Gene came in about three nights later and was talking with Vincent. Y'all know him as Vinny. Me and him grew up together, so Vincent. Yeah. He's always Vincent to me. He hates it, but don't, don't tell him that if you sent by him. I mean, I heard already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fuck. You know, he said he was going to hire him to do some security work. Gene had a job for him because Vincent was out of work. Shit. We got to find that motherfucker. Out of character question, has yes. the woman from the charger outside made her way in? Not quite yet. Okay. Uh, time difference. You know, you all okay. weren't in that long, but we flipped over just. Okay. I didn't want to yeah. have Rashad and Callum sitting there that long. Okay. Gwen kind of looks over panically at the bartender. like, is anyone else showing up or I guess not showing up? Uh, it's going to take me a while. We, You know how many people we got through here? No. Enough. It's enough. And Ginny looks over. What was that? What was Gene's last name? You said it was his daughter, right? I, I heard that guy's last name. I think it was Van or Vance. Or... Yeah, that, no, that was. And and the guy behind the book goes, yeah, Curtis Vance. That was the name. Yeah, that's it. That was on his ID. We ID'd him. Because he just looked man, kind of sketchy. <laughs> I've heard that about him. I, I haven't ever. I, yeah, I've just Gene, heard stories. Uh, oh, I found it right here. Uh, Gene Sherry was his name. That's the guy that his daughter. He never brought up his daughter was attacked afterwards, though. He hasn't been by in a while either. So Gene Sherry's daughter was attacked by Curtis Vance. Jenny goes, I think that's what happened. It's still foggy. It's. Every time I try to remember what's going on, I know I remember it, but then I can't picture it. How old is his daughter? Curtis goes, she was 17. That was why. 
Sorry, Curtis. You mean I'm assuming you mean someone? This is a different Curtis. This is Curtis, yeah, Curtis behind the bar. Curtis, 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 sorry, Curtis, sorry. Curtis with a C behind the bar. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm, fo- I'm following. Gene's daughter up. was 17. That's why we had it. You know. Yeah. We Fucking wouldn't creep, serve her, man. Ugh. Whatever he's done to my fucking head, though, I can't get the headache trying to picture what happened. <clears throat> and it's at this point, the door to the place open and in steps somebody that Cat recognizes from driving the getaway, the runaway Hellcat. And so does Bo, because you were sitting right next to it. And right here, everybody, we're going to go to break as this individual has stepped into uh, the bar because there's a chance she might recognize Mm -hmm. two of the people in here. So we will see everybody in 10 minutes. Please enjoy the break. Okay. Yes. Welcome back. Yeah. The answer is uh, yes. I am. I'm, I am armed. I have a melee weapon and I have my pistol and a stake. Before the break, they were, well, they found out about Gwen who had something really some, uh, Fucky wucky happened to Gwen. And we'll, we'll use Ravinia's turn for that because it's a great way to describe that one. And then they went to this Jabberjaw bar where they've met with Jenny and found out her hunters. Uh, though as Gwen found out, she killed a thin blood. Does that really count? Eh. But as they were getting their information, in walked a woman. As she comes in the door, uh, Kat and Bo, you immediately recognize her. And... You immediately notice her eyes go wide. What was her name? Because the guys told me her name. Uh, I know I wrote it down. Uh, Yana. Yana! Hey! And she screams, it's one of them! And immediately I I grab Jenny. (laughs) Okay, give me... Uh, <laughs> you can give me deck sub uh, brawl or strength brawl. Pick one. Oh, it's gonna be strength. Yeah. <laughs> As she's doing this, I will look forcefully at Gwen and say, "Take the notebook," and then I will actually use compel on someone who looks like they have a big gun and say, "Shoot your friends." Well, based on the picture behind the bar is a shotgun, <laughs> or based on the video that was taken. <laughs> Got nine with a crit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you snatch up Jenny by her throat. <laughs> Woo! We rocking and rolling now. <laughs> with your fingers like dug into her, right up in her throat. Oh, yeah. I'm actually putting pressure on her fucking carotid artery, so she's about to faint. <laughs> Nine's a damn good roll. Uh, Bo, you don't have to roll for your compel because... And I will tell Mortal. I will tell that to to Curtis if he has a gun, so he's not going for the notebook either. No, because when you say that, he pulls out the gun, the shotgun. Uh, it's a sawed off double barrel, and he gives both barrels to the guy that was standing next to him at the bar. Yeah. So Gwen can grab the notebook and and come with us. Which is horrifying because two barrels at close range. Close range. Mm, yeah, that ain't pretty. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Now, all hell is breaking loose here. Uh, Callum and Mashad, uh, you hear the gunshot, of course. You heard the, sh- the sh- double barrel. It's, a, it's an obvious noise. Um, everyone else seems to be grabbing for guns. A couple grabbed at stakes, but because you have Jenny, uh, she starts waving at him because she realizes right now she's caught. Yeah, she's caught and she's dead if they hurt us. You can't get out of here. Jenny's talking. She's barely talking. You can't get out of here. Yes, we can. Just let me go. You can walk away now. Oh, no, we can't. And I said, you're coming with us to make sure we get out. (laughs) And so your plan is to go where? Probably right out the back door because there's a sliding glass door right behind us. (laughs) And as you're retreating to the sliding glass door, uh, the people are following you at a distance, but nobody's drawn their weapons. Mm-mm. They've got their hands on them, but they're not. Uh, they don't want to be the one who shoots Jenny. Uh-huh. Is Curtis still opening fire? Uh, no, it only works for one round. So he emptied both okay. barrels. Now he's That's looking at be- horror at the shotgun that he just used to shoot his buddy as Gwen grabs the blood splattered notebook. Notebook. 
Am very I much with a look of horror that on her face. To, to compel again. <laughs> you can do uh, as your. Uh, you'd have to stay long enough to do another compel if you're not gonna. You need to get the fuck out. Remember, okay. that's what I said. Yeah, I would... <laughs> yeah I'll when... make sure. Well, I we're I'm Gwen is out first mm-hmm. with the note if she has the notebook, and then I once Gwen's out, I will follow behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So before, like, like you even like grab Jenny. Uh, you say, so you say grab the notebook. Gwen grabs the notebook because like <laughs> it's supposed to be compelled, right? Uh. And so she does it. She's like, I'm so sorry. And she like bolts out. <laughs> okay. Go right out. You throw the sliding glass door open. It wasn't barred. No. Just and you go right out the back. Right out the back. Every once in a while, somebody go out there and smoke. So they leave it unlocked. Mm-hmm. And you go out in the back. And the backyard has the privacy fence, but it's not a, a super tall one. It's not hard. It's easy to climb a privacy fence from the inside of the fence. Mm hmm. Because you have the support bar or support wood that goes across. It's easy to climb those. From the other side, it's a little tougher. And as Kat's backing out, holding Jenny. They're following, but they're staying far enough back that they're uh, not encouraging you to kill her. Stay in the house and I'll release her as soon as we get out. Do what she says. Yana knows what they look like. Yeah, and I know Yana. And literally, we I just walk her backwards all the way to the back of the fucking fence. Now, we're flashing back to Callum and Rashad as you're backing up. Uh, you all were near the car, just got done investigating it when you heard the shotgun go off. Okay. What are you two doing? Um... I, my first instinct is to move toward the front of the house, cross the street, and move toward the front of the house using whatever cover there is. Rashad, do you want to come with me, or do you want to get the car? Todd is going to quickly take his phone and put it underneath, uh, looking for a spot where he can just kind of wedge it. Um, and then he will get up, and he will pull out one of the mask that he used previously uh put it on his face and then toss one to callum and if possible he'll take his knife and just start cutting tires you know just walking down just <laughs> cutting whatever tires he can get to you're gonna be <laughs> stabbing tires all the way down the street okay efficiency and callum's moving into a position to watch the door callum when you get to the door uh you notice the two bouncers are not at the door anymore they've gone inside <laughs> okay responding to things uh so- okay you got a pretty clear view. Uh, something's going on in the backyard, but you can't see what it is. And we flash back to Gwen has already cleared the fence. Mm-hmm. Bo has cleared the fence. Cat standing with Jenny held by the throat. Uh-huh. And I am going to clear the fence with Jenny. Okay, give me dex athletics. Or sorry, strength athletics. Okay. Your strength. Uh, can you hold on to her while you jump it? We'll go strength athletics for that. Yeah. A damn nine, though, with a fucking mess. Hang on, I'm going to do a willpower. That's a hell of a grapple right there. Yeah, I think I can. Five, four, you manage five, six, seven. Seven? Oh, with a crit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you manage to... Uh, you don't have soaring leap, Mm-mm. but with one hand on her throat, you jump up and use your Drag other hand... Or with me. You use your other hand to... Push yourself literally bodily over the fence, mm-hmm. holding on to her still. And then I say... Thank you for the information on Mr. Vance. We didn't come here to hurt any of you. And then she tosses her over. You throw her back over Mm -hmm. the fence. And uh, from the front yard, I will say you see uh, Kat go over the fence and then hurl (laughs) a blonde back over the fence. (laughs) And she takes off (laughs) to the car. (laughs) Okay. Now, Bo and Gwen, you get to the car first. Are you going to be driving? Uh, no, because Gwen's supposed to look like a victim. Uh, Bo has to drive. Yeah, yeah I'll drive. Yeah. I'll drive. Now, you come out to see Callum watching the door with his gun, Rashad <laughs> stabbing car tires on the street. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. And uh, I'll head to the car. Rashad, time to go. Let's go. And as you're running back, Kat, you clear around the building as, uh, or come around. And as you're getting in the car, you see people piling out of the front door of the place. Well, we're parked down a ways, so we're going to yeah. go the other direction. Yeah. 
and everyone's going to split. Uh-huh. It's going to take off. Uh, the number of cars that you stabbed has definitely put a, a crimp on pursuit. Let me see if anyone has a chance in the hell of pursuing. I have a bad feeling I used up all my dice rolls. Uh, yeah, I did. For the viewers out there, during break, I rolled to see if Yana would recognize anybody. And on nine dice, I got nine successes. Uh, so she recognized the group, which burned up all my good rolls. Because, uh, yeah, uh, you guys don't see any pursuit at all. Uh, you got to remember that the driveway was full, so they got to get the exact person who was at the back cars to move first. The ones on the street, most of them have slashed tires now that they don't know were slashed till they start to drive, mm-hmm. uh-huh. which causes all kinds of issues. And you all, I feel you've gotten away. Where are you meet, supposed to meet up afterwards? <sighs> I think we're going to go meet up at a bar in the rack. Mm. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds good. So I will turn it over to the players. You're in a one of the rack bars. Mm-hmm. Uh this would be, let's see. I think now it's like a Monday night at this point, based on our time frame. Mm-hmm. So it's not a busy night. You find a nice quiet spot in the back. Um uh, Gwen, you did have to wipe some splatter off your face. Yeah. Double barrels at close range is a mess. It's really messy. Oh, the corner of your corner of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Licks her lips. <laughs> Cat's literally got like a, a bowl of fucking peanuts and a beer. <laughs> and it's quiet enough that you all can talk quietly in the back corner without any problem. So I'll let you all uh, discuss the events of tonight. Well. I left my phone with our interesting visitor. So once they get out of the chaos I caused them, you should be able to locate her. Yeah, Yana's um quite talented. She immediately recognized us. Well, Bo and I. Um Maybe we are we in a position to do we want to keep this notebook intact? Do we want to take pictures of the pages and then burn the notebook, dispose of the physical notebook. I think well, take pictures. I can barely and- hear you, Bo. Please turn up your mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think take pictures and turn the uh, notebook over to Victoria. Mm. Uh, I'm all right with that. Makes sense to me. That way we'll all, and you know, we can, Text it to every text the text the images to everyone so we all have. I don't think we want. I don't think we want all this information at hand. I would rather have it somewhere secure. God forbid something happens. I mean, they've already got my phone once. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'd recommend not keeping anything valuable on your phones, regardless. I'm saying, like, like. Taking pictures. Just keep the fucking notebook yeah. until we get it right. reviewed. Then we can hand it off to Victoria. All right. All right. <laughs> it's just this is this is very much. I don't know. It went fine until Yana yeah. showed up. Oh yeah, yeah. It was it, literally you guys they, they, the story. they bought that we were going to sign up hook, line, and sinker. We all had our sob stories about yeah. how some one hurt someone we cared about most of them are there for that reason a couple of them just became aware of things and got involved so it's personal for a lot of them they know bare bones bare bones um got some good info on uh mr vance Fucking moron. Yeah. And he attacked a 17-year-old. In the bar. Mm -hmm. And wiped their memories because they were trying to recall it and it was giving them a headache. 
the int- so I will say kudos to him for wiping an entire bar's worth of memories. Yeah. Assuming he succeeded. Mm. I mean, they didn't know about it. They didn't know up. about it until we started talking about him. Um, and then they recalled something and it was hurting them to try to remember every detail. Um, but I'm going to say, they are legit the scrub league. Okay. They really are. They are they amateurs. They are vigilantes. That's it. Yeah. And knew nothing about cameras. No, they had no cameras they inside. The ones who got me either. Um, they were very proud of the kills they did get, even though it was a thin blood. Oh, her uh, teeth were a thin blood. I knew it was something off about them. Yeah. No, it was thin blood. It was like baby uh, teeth. I feel like if they were the ones that attacked me, they would have bragged about it. Yeah. We have we have to be careful. We can't diminish that loss being that there is. I get it. I get it. Position of the HOA. I understand that. I'm not diminishing it. But at the same time, right. they don't know the difference. Right. Between right. a thin blood and us. Understood. Understood. I completely scared the shit out of. Jenny. And I didn't even do anything. Ooh, I just use my strength. There is opportunity, I think, to Gwen, very smart thinking. Playing victim. Hmm? That was brilliant, girl. That was brilliant. Is what I do best. Because um, there is there is plausible deniability that you are just some human. Forced that you. Got I forced you to get the notebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm does leave an opening for later on potentially but i'd have to have probably a pretty good damn story for how i got away you can be pretty convincing yeah so they've clearly seen you too Mm -hmm. do you all need to do anything (laughs) i did tell her when i tossed her back over the fence that we didn't come to actually hurt any of them we wanted information on Vance, and I thanked her for that information. One sorry son of a bitch did get a, a shotgun to the chest, though. By his friend. Mm-hmm. Right. So, we'll see what they do. Did y'all find out anything? Well, we just identified... Her car, that was the one that sped away. My guess and assumption is that they are using police radios to either keep an eye on us or at least assume when our actions are being used. So I'd recommend being careful about that kind of thing. They have a car that is very odd. My guess is that it does not belong to our friend Diana. She doesn't strike me as the type to afford um, the, uh, what is it called? The uh, Hellcat, I believe. Oh, yeah, the and Charger. Also, yeah. Yes. I'll show you a, nice a picture of that uh, walkie talkie. Um, so looking back, can Gwen see anything odd about Yana? Uh, or like put anything together about why Yana would have so much money. Yeah. Uh, player thought process is Yana Kendra Kindred hiding in disguise, but also any other reason why Yana would have a bunch of money. I will let you roll. Uh, wits. Uh, streetwise you can go. Uh, wits. Uh, actually you've got a deduction. Right? Yeah, investigation deduction. Yeah. So wits investigation with your deduction specialty. Uh, I will surge wits again. And while she's rolling that, Cass going to say, oh, and they totally didn't know that Vinny, Vincent, was dead. So they were not the ones warning him that we were coming. Mm -hmm. Six. Nice. Gwen. Based on her clothes, the way she drove the car, uh, 
well, you didn't see her, but the way she's been described as drove the car. Uh, she is. She doesn't strike you as someone who could afford it. But how quickly she reacted to you all. The car. Her patterns that you know of her need to get away immediately and abandoning people that you were told about in the parking lot of the guard place. She may not be like the rest of them. Uh, probably not Kindred. Uh, the radio screams fed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so putting all that together, we tell them that Yana seems like the bigger threat than Jenny. I bet Yana can lead us to your brother, Bo. Unless she's just the next layer. It's one step closer. If she's fed, she's likely working with him. Probably. If they are the authorities, then my guess is they are going to make a move on everyone they think they can. Mm -hmm. I will assume they will definitely move for you, Katarina and Bo. As they just saw you, they know for sure you're on to them. Mm -hmm. Do you need other places to stay for the night or oh, today? I, I, I stay at Callum graciously lets me stay at his place. I'm good. I would like some place to stay, probably. Um, I probably need to go back and get some things first, but I, it's probably not the best for me to be there, given that they know that's where I live. I'll need to move at some point, but it's a matter of when. You are welcome to join me. I am planning a move soon, but what is mine is yours. Mr. McFarland also suggested something. And I am only offering you this as a, somewhat of your lawyers. I can keep an eye on your auras for you to determine if there are any strange things, a baseline, so to speak. However, it is highly possible that I will discover things that you may not want for me to know. Do you Nothing have, I learn I'm will be shared. Book. You can do it anytime. Anyone else? Yeah. As am I. I've I've given Rashad permission to do that whenever he likes. Um, I've already looked at mine, so you already know everything. Yeah, you can look at mine. All right. We will need to stagger it out over a bit of time. Of it would not be good for ready. any of us if I were to become too hungry. When you're ready. Yep, just go do what I can. Sounds good. So, you all have information. You still need to find this Gene Sherry's address, but there's ways for that. You also have a tracking on the Hellcat, at least till the phone battery dies, which, if the stream screen is not on and it's just sitting there passively, it can last a day or two. It can last, well, more than a day for sure. Because I know I don't even charge my phone, but every Especially three days. You don't have any notifications going on it. Yep. So that gives that. Uh, Gwen, you said you got to go back to your place to get some stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um. So she's just going to go back and really just like grab some clothes. You want me to go with you? Um. No, I, I think that I can go by myself. Are all you right. sure that's a good idea? I, yeah, I, with all respect, you catch a go with you. I mean, you did get, somebody got the jump on you in that place. The likelihood of it happening again may be small, but I'd rather, in this case, bring a fire hose to take out a match if that's the, if that's what we're dealing with. Okay. I mean, I guess that goes best with the uh, helpless victim image anyway. Yeah. 
even though I guess they know I'm not. <laughs> well, the higher ups may, but those fools didn't. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah, let, let's go together. So you all heading to Gwen's place. Uh, what is your plan at Gwen's place? I need to know your plan here. Um, first, before we go in, Kat is going to walk around the perimeter. Wits awareness. Mm -hmm. And I've got Eyes of the Beast on doing okay. this. Yeah, uh, Gwen will also have Eyes of the Beast on. She'll be looking around, uh, but she'll also look at the cameras to see if anybody is inside. Uh, and this time she's also looking out for any oddities, such as like evidence that it's been tampered with. Okay. I only got two. So give me your uh, wits investigation. We'll go with that. For, uh, uh, deduction or no? Deduction works, sure. Okay. Uh, and this is a different scene, so I'd have to research wits, yes, right? Um, I don't know if I rolled my browse check last time. I'll just roll one just to be safe. It was a pass, so it's fine. Oh, no, it was a pass, whatever. Um, wits plus one. Investigation. Deduction. Uh, I will willpower that. Awesome. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Now, what is your plan? If you've walked around, you checked your cameras, your cameras appear fine. What is your plan for? I need to, I want to know what's, uh, you're going in to get stuff. What's Kat doing? I am going to <clears throat> kind of pace between front entrance and if there's a back entrance, basically between the two, make sure that they're clear. Inside the house? Mm hmm Okay. And when you do that, Gwen, you're going to gather some stuff. And I will occasionally go by the window and see if I see anything outside. Out front, you, as you're pacing back, you hear, uh, there's a whoosh noise out front. It's an odd sound of breaking a glass and whoosh. It's not in the house, though. Okay. Sounds like maybe a fire just started out front. I'm going to take a look. As you move to the front of the house, you see your car is on fire. Yeah. She's going to see who's pulling away. Nobody. There's three guys in the street. Hmm. Gwen, you're gathering clothes from upstairs. Gwen. Man, you open the closet to get clothes, and a man just steps out of your closet. He does like his like hand over his lips, and he points down. He's strapped with something. I'd say they're cylindrical. About that wide, about that long. Got three or four of them strapped to him. Uh, does it, is like hand on trigger? Uh, or like, does she feel like she might have time to go and like quickly disarm it? Uh, um, it's strapped to him. And his other hand comes out from behind his back. He's holding the dead man switch. Here's what's going to happen. Me and you are opening that window. And you're coming with me. Peacefully. Then nobody else gets hurt. Otherwise, I've got nothing to lose anyway. I've already had everything taken from me. I'll just... Blow us all the fuck up. Your kind can't survive that. 
you hear from downstairs, Gwen, it's time to leave. Yeah, um, Gwen, make a choice. She'll go uh, she'll go open the window um and she'll like gesture to see like if he wants to go first, if he wants her to go first, like what, trying to figure out what he wants. You're going first. You're going out the back. You will go the next house over. You will get in the car that's parked there. We're going to take a ride and have a talk. Okay, so... I, I imagine that Gwen is probably a lot quicker to get down than him, given that uh has a dead man switch in his hand. Um Cat's already gone out the back. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, okay, if that that makes it easier because I was gonna say Cat tries to send off a quick tet or Gwen tries to send off a quick Cat's text. Cat's already because Kat, they, they just there, burned up her fucking car. He's a yeah. lot quicker in the front. So she's then it the back. should going out the window. A lot quicker than he should be. But he doesn't drop the dead man switch. So, Kat, you come out as you see a man standing, pointing Gwen, and you can see he's holding something in his hand. And as soon as you come out the door, he hears the door. She's coming with me tonight. No, she isn't. And he pulls open. Don't make me blow us all up. I have nothing to lose. You, they've taken everything. I want some answers, and she's coming with me. Tell me who's taking it, and I'll get your fucking answers. No, that's not how this works. I don't trust your kind. I'm sure you don't, but I'm more likely to get answers than you are. You're expendable. Give me a dex athletics roll there, Kat. I am doing willpower. I got four. There's a loud, and I do mean loud, crack. As a bullet impacts right by your foot. By the sound of the crack and the size of the bullet, it's a very big caliber sniper rifle. My friends are watching. I don't fucking care. Come on, Will Gwen. I be returned? Are you going to kill me? Aren't you already dead? I'm not here to hurt what? you. I'm going to attack him. Okay, this is not going to end well. Right, so you're going to try to cover the distance to attack him? Yep, I'm going to leap and grab his fucking hand to keep his thumb on that goddamn okay. switch. Uh, you're going to... Give me a, a Dex Athletics. Okay. And I'm going to roll for the sniper rifles. Because they don't expect Cat to do that. <laughs> mm. We'll see. Yeah, that's five. As you go to leap, bullet cracks out. You hear the rifle again. But it doesn't strike you. Strikes the guy. No, it strikes Gwen. Mm. Gwen, you got any toughness? Uh, no. You need to run. Right no, uh, Gwen, you're going to take four superficial. That's after it's halved. You need to do um, what Kat has always said. You get the fuck out and you let her take the fucking distraction. Uh, is Gwen able to really run at this point easily? For superficial, you can handle that. You're not crippled yet. You're not crippled. But uh, she'll how run far can you run direction. when a sniper rifle is already trained on you? There is your bad question. I mean, she'll run, but she'll run the direction of like 
the car, like the direction she was told to go. Like she will figure it out once she gets there. What she but we need that car anyway to get the fuck out of here. So yeah, so she's gonna run towards <laughs> that car. Also, it hopes that she doesn't get shot more uh, because she's doing what she was told. <laughs> hey, go ahead and give me your Dex uh, brawl there, or your strength. Actually, strength brawl. Um, yep. Go I, ahead. Well, yeah, I did uh, because of the disc, yeah. right? But and yep. Go ahead and give me strength brawl. Uh, remember, you're closing a, a pretty good distance. You're praying that he can't detonate before you approach. You that get there. That is going to be a willpower. I will take five. As you jump, you get your hand on the detonator. On the dead man switch. When another sniper round comes out, not from the same gun, it's a different direction. Mm -hmm. Blowing the hand and detonator to pieces. Okay. Guy's just screaming at this point. His hand and detonator just got blown up. Yeah, and he didn't blow up. Well, no, because uh, that's not how they work. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. That was Gwen is running, though. Yeah, Gwen is running. And now I'm going to say, I guess you won't get your answers. And she takes off. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you take off. Give me another death. Give me actually two death, ath two death athletics. <laughs> I role. mean, this might kill Cat tonight, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it might. Give me two okay. of them. Go big or go home. <laughs> yep. I need two rolls. All right. These are not civilian grade rifles, by the way. Not bad. Got three and four. Pretty good roll. Pretty good roll. Not good enough, but pretty good roll. Not, of course not. I've got specialists fucking shooting at me. Of course not. <laughs> you do get away. You don't die. That's for sure. Uh, the bullets slam into you. The five, the four you got was pretty good, actually. Uh, that one missed you. As I'm running, can I switch back my fucking strength to my stamina? No, because it takes a full okay. amount of time to do it. Okay. Uh, the second bullet hits you. The first bullet hits me. Well, one of them missed. The, the other one didn't miss. The one that hits you uh, actually hits you in the leg. Okay. Causing you to fall, stumble. Okay. But uh, doesn't completely stop you. Right. She, can, she stumbles, but she can keep going. It slows you. Mm-hmm. Jenky, I know you're going to hate me for this uh, because background stuff. Uh, but Gwen, realistically... <laughs> Would activate silence of death and unseen passage. Once she got out of sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Now we'll keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Because as Kat pulls away and gets around, she doesn't see Gwen. It's fine. It's like, Girl, I hope you got away. And she goes to the car. Because she imagines it's likely running. Which if car? Theirs? Yeah. Hey, what car? You didn't see a car out front. There's no car there? No. Okay, fine. She'll keep going until she can get somewhere to call a fucking cab or something. Okay. So, Cat runs off into the night. Mm -hmm. And right here, everybody, is where we're going to end. Season 1, Episode 7. A Cat has, and Gwen have found the heavy hitters. The real heavy hitters. The ones behind it all. Mm -hmm. And the key man. This. Who now has no hand and is probably bled out. Mm hmm Or at least the one they're using. Mm hmm I thought in a game of cat and mouse, the cat was supposed to be doing the hunting. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes the cat's the prey. And this is where we're going to end the episode. But she didn't get caught. <laughs> so you're aware. I'm just going to tell y'all because I think it's funny. That was modeling clay. Was it? Yeah, it was modeling clay. Mm. Oh, well. He I wasn't going to blow that. up 
that much fucking C4. Yeah, that was a lot of fucking C4. It was modeling clay. Mm-hmm. Those were still big sniper rifles. That was. Those are Barrett's. Yeah. Those are military. Mm-hmm. So this group has got info. You've got a name. And you've got a tracked car. Gwen has hopefully got away. We'll find out. And I'd like to thank my players. And the viewers, of course, I think tonight, because I saw everybody doing something, everybody had some great plans, everybody played their role. I'm giving everyone three XP for tonight's session. Uh, Because everyone uh, knew their part, played their part in their plan to get into the bar, and even covered each other for extraction. So three XP for everybody. Give a little bonus this time. Uh, cat is a bull in a china shop is my final statement on that. She um, is. When, when shit hits the fan, she will be the fucking distraction and take the fucking hits. She doesn't even have fucking fortitude, but she will fucking do it. She could have been <laughs> torpored easily. Easily. Killed. Uh, it takes more than just sniping a kindred to kill them, but you can torpor them. You can torpor her. You have to behead them or shoot their heads completely off to kill them, but mm-hmm. you can torpor them. Uh, the problem is, where did Gwen end up? I love Silence of Death and I love Unseen Passage. But Cat can't But see cameras that. don't care. Yeah. I imagine thermals also would not care. They don't care either. Correct. Because it's a those camera. Guns. <laughs> yeah. Correct. And you don't have uh, Ghost in the Machine yet to fuck up the thermals or camera methods. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, this is a fun episode here because we're down to eight, nine, and ten. We got three left after this one, but they found out just how big of a dirtbag Vance is. I think someone's going to have to tell Manuel and Victoria about why he's being blackmailed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, we don't owe him anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, get his info, and then Vance may have a. Unfortunate accident. Uh, a meeting with the sun. Uh, even in kindred society, underage. Not okay. It's not it's okay. too much attention. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, very much so. Please join us on our Discord. That is where we cast this show from. That's where we cast all of our shows from. So if you're on our Discord, uh, that's where you get to find out and get to be in all these things like, well, this... Uh, well, the Changeling game was cast on the Discord. The Old Gods that's coming up was cast on the Discord. Everything. So, please, join us on this Discord. Uh, if you want to catch our back episodes, well, you can watch them here on YouTube for 60 days. We do not sub-lock anything behind, you know, no paywalls. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, well, you already got access to our entire back catalog uh, on YouTube. Everything except for the Murder Mystery Party is on our YouTube. So, Murder Mystery Party, I couldn't. I couldn't post there for reasons. Um, God, my brain's not working. You want to see some amazing content creator, creators? Check out our friends list. Uh, we've got some good friends out there. Uh, one of them's right over there. That maybe got a clean getaway, maybe didn't. <laughs> we'll see. But you want to check them out. I'll give her a chance to say what she's got going on along with some of the other people here. Uh you want to give to the players bits and donations to go to the players, not to the studio. It's a way for you, the viewer, to give something to the players. If you want to give something to the studio, you subscribe on Twitch. Uh, you can pop over to our coffee. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, like the video, uh, comment on the video. Those kind of things drive us up in the YouTube search. So uh, that's just ways to, uh, to support us here. Uh, trust me, we don't make money doing this. Uh, we consistently, I think everyone involved, even the players, lose money consistently uh, being part of streams because, you know, costumes and outfits cost money, too. Um, trying to think, I think I covered my part. Oh, if you want to get some some merch, we have some studio merch. You can go to our merch store over on Zazzle. Uh, I know YouTube, we don't have the link there. I should add it to it, but I'll post it up in YouTube just because. There we go. So, uh, please. Check out our merch if you want to get some cool studio merch. Eventually, we will get our Kansas City posters done that we're wanting to do. Uh, but check that out. Uh, we'll get them done eventually. It's 
Yeah, it's been hectic. It might be season two or three before I get to them. Yeah. <laughs> and it may be lacking whoever dies this season. We don't know. You know, because Kat's, that could, that Kat's could, barreling towards it. I know. But you know what? The no fucks teller given. The keeps th- throwing dangerous as fuck shit at us. So guess who's going to be the cannon fodder? Now you got to know. You got to know when to cut your losses. <laughs> While granted, I also need to protect this fucking coterie. I get it. Um, yes, now I can turn it over to my wife. their mom. <laughs> She's she's the bodyguard. She she is because none of these are fighters. Nope. So she's so, like, well, fuck. I turn it over to my wife so she can give you all the schedule of what we've got going on because we've got some stuff going on. All right. So coming up over the next week. First off, thank you all for joining us. I have all the adrenaline pumping from that last fucking five minutes of a game. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but coming up over the next week, Tis, I believe, is taking a break this weekend, correct? Yes. Okay, so she's taking a break this weekend. There are no streams this weekend at all. Saturday and Sunday, there's no streams. Everybody's taking a break this weekend. Um, then on Wednesday, join us for Season 1, Episode 2, at 8 p.m. Eastern of Changeling the Dreaming Stained Glass with our new to STing on our channel, Maddox running it and it is myself and mischievous red and a bunch of fun people like ravnos archon and junie von esch and unconscious celestial and we are just gallivanting through all the fucking face shit (laughs) and of course we will be back here on friday with Episode 8 of Season 1 of Kansas City at Domain Divided. 8 p.m. Yep. And it's done. And uh, let's go around the table. Uh, I know, Callum, you can find you here. This is where mm-hmm, you play with it. us. So uh, glad to have you here. But uh, Rashad, Re, what you got going on? Uh, you can check me out over on the rerolls as I got a group of superheroes through trying to make the world a better place. Uh, and if that is every Sunday at oh boy nine thirty p.m., uh, so go ahead and give us that. You give us that watch. It's a late game. And I'll go ahead. This is. Right, let me let me type it in the chat again. Yep. And I'll so push I don't it forget. over to YouTube as well. Uh, Bo, what you got going on there, House? Uh, yeah, still uh, waiting to do the final episode of the Fancastic Four podcast, the number one Fantastic Four fancasting podcast on the internet. Presumably, uh, just timing has, with holidays and whatnot, made recording our final episode a challenge. So you just get to wait a little longer, some delayed gratification for this last episode. But check it out. That they are dedicated to the theme of that damn podcast. Let me tell you, it, it, it's a lot of homework gets done. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Gwen, uh, let everybody know what's happening to you when you're not having bad shit happen. Yeah, I know. It's been back to back. Uh, so um, I stream on my own channel, uh, Mischievous Red on Twitch. Uh, I do some creative stuff. We're also going to be streaming Final Fantasy XIV again soon. Uh, but the next stream will be Sunday and I'll be doing some writing. Uh, I am also one of the co-founders of Huntsman's Hydra, uh, which isn't an actual play or anything on Twitch anymore. It's a community and a website that's mainly about exploring people to different TTRPGs. Uh, so if you want other systems, come check us out. Yeah. And, uh, hey, you know, it happens, Red, don't worry. Uh, some people are the magnet for the bad shit. I guess season one, Gwen's the magnet, and you can blame Bo and his brother. He's too OP. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> She's too open. Everyone's going after the <laughs> uh, one that looks naive and scared. <laughs> and they keep fucking losing people every time they do. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> not good. She hasn't killed it. Well, uh, never mind. I don't know that actually because I don't remember. I lost yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole other discussion. Uh, and as always, everybody, when we end these streams, I want to tell you mental health, it's not a joke. It's not a laughing matter. Please take your mental health seriously and take the mental health of others seriously. Uh, check in on those around you, reach out to friends, family, loved ones, especially during the holiday season, because a lot of people are not okay. And uh, sometimes it just takes a, a lifeline, uh, a friendly voice, somebody checking in to help them out. And if you suffer from mental health issues, like many of us out there do, I would like you to reach out to your own support network. And I know there's a stigma attached to mental health that shouldn't be, but it is there. And if you don't feel you can reach out to your own support network, in chat right now is a list of numbers you can call or text 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
and you can get the help you need. Uh, and if you're not in the U.S. or you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to findahelpline.com, put in your country of origin, and get the helplines in your country. Because uh, mental health is health, everybody. We want you to be there uh, in the future. And uh, the holidays are rough on a lot of people. So uh, take care of yourself, please. Now I'll let my wife give her final parts. All right. So take care of this up here. Do what you need to do. Take care of yourself. And make sure you take care of all this. Okay. Take care of the body too. Get vaccinated. Get your flu shot. Get your COVID shot. Seriously. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Please get it. It's that season. It is. Cold and flu season. I am literally getting patients at work that are in for those illnesses and gotten seriously sick from them. And they're preventable. Okay? So, please. Um, and, you know, generally, just if, if you're struggling during this time, which I am. I mean, my God, the fucking seasonal affective disorder is kicking my ass, y'all. Um, but for real... Take take the time that you need. If you need to take care of yourself because you're exhausted, fatigued, just not having the energy to do shit, it's okay. You can be a little slower. You can take a little more time to get stuff done. You can take periods of rest if you need it. Okay? Your, your worth is not measured by your productivity. Period. Said with love. Which is why I changed jobs. Because, yeah. Uh, and I do thank everyone for coming. I hope you've been enjoying uh, this season. Uh, it started off with a lot of groundwork, but things have picked up this season. And I think there's some grudges. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know? So uh, I do thank everyone for coming, and I hope to see you next time. Please, good night, everybody. And thank you to my lovely wife for updating our stream over. Slide, if I remembered to put it up. I think I did. Uh, thank you for coming, everyone. Good night.